Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and I make videos about fashion and lifestyle. I'm very into home decor too and I'm doing a whole home decor series here on YouTube. If you've been following me on Instagram for a long time, you know that in January 2018, my husband and I bought a fixer upper and we completely gutted it and made it into this beautiful home that we have the pleasure of living in now. And it's taken about a year and a half to get it to this point. I've been collecting everything so slowly and moving room by room and I'm finally thinking my kitchen looks good enough for a tour. So let's go ahead and get into this video. When you walk into our home through our family room and the dining nook, you see our kitchen. I wanted this to be a very modern and clean design, which is why I went with all the concealed cabinets. We don't have a lot of counter space on the sides, but because of this giant island and space in the back where the stove is, I don't feel like we're really lacking in space. The chandelier on the center of the island is from West Elm, but I do have plans on switching that out one day when I get the bar stools that I want want but now it's all about saving up to get them so once I have money to get the bar stools and the chandelier I will switch those things out but I think for now it looks really beautiful as it is you might think that the stone in the kitchen is marble it is not it is porcelain it's called statuario I believe I will leave a link for that too because so many people ask me the reason why I went for porcelain is because obviously it's a lot more durable it's man-made so even though with the veining it looks very much like marble it can withstand any kind of heat any spills we have used our kitchen so much cooked in it so much and it still looks brand new you just have to go with a really good fabricator who knows what they're doing so that they can actually match the veining like they did in this waterfall feature that we have on our island they did such a beautiful job just makes it look so much more expensive but yeah this is obviously not tile these are porcelain slabs that we got and had the fabricators cut them to make them look and resemble like marble so fun fact, I was planning on making the kitchen white, but on a whim, I painted it black, but I'm so happy I did this because it just adds a really beautiful feature to the home because the black cabinets just really make the kitchen stand out, especially with the choice of stone and the stainless steel appliances and the gold hardware. This is probably my favorite part of the home with the vent hood, that beautiful, gorgeous stove range, and then my little paintings over here. I obviously remove these when I'm using this side of the stove because I don't want them to splatter everywhere but these prints are from Artfully Walls. I think they look so beautiful in this space obviously because the colors of my home are all black, white, and tan. I put this little plant over here. My mother-in-law gave it to me. I have to switch this thing out because this is not the most beautiful bottle but this plant is thriving. The one plant I've managed to keep alive and it's thriving so I think I need some more plants in my home now took me a while to figure out what I wanted on this side but I really love this beautiful cake stand it's from CB2 the marble fruit bowl is from Crate and Barrel and this base is from Anthropology. because I wanted everything concealed I worked with my contractor to put all of the appliances tucked away I really love this feature because even though they're in cabinets, I can fully open all of this, which is so nice to have. It saves space, but then also makes the space very functional. This obviously opens too, so you know, we can use all of our cabinets for whatever. This is just a lot of space, and I love that when I don't want to see all this clutter, I can put it away. This is like my OCD dream come true. concealed our double ovens into cabinets and again these doors completely retract in so when you are using the oven it never blocks anything it's not blocking space the space is still very functional um, we then replace the double oven it came with the home but it's perfectly fine it's brand new in fact so instead of buying like a new one just to match the stainless steel we decided to put it behind cabinets 
so we didn't have to spend the extra money. One of the things that I really love about this kitchen is when we were designing it, I wanted to make sure that it always seemed very open. So we decided to do a little bit of extra space between the stove and the, the island. And I love this walkway because it's really spacious. Eventually, as our family grows, when we have more people over here, this is just going to be a really nice feature to have. One of my favorite things about this kitchen is the hardware. This is all from a brand called Rejuvenation, and I went with an extra long handles just to make a very statement piece. And then, as you can notice, not every cabinet has the same handles. I did do a mix and match with some drawers and then the cabinets have different poles, but I think they all work really well together. Anybody have a problem forgetting if their dishwasher is clean or dirty? I found this on Amazon. This is such a cute little invention. So whenever we have the dishwasher running, we always make it clean and then obviously dirty when we empty it out. Rami loves to collect magnets from all of our travels. So all of these are on our fridge. I love looking through them and reminiscing. My dream was to have my kitchen sink on an island. I actually made them drill full on holes into the concrete and make sure that the piping was installed in my kitchen island for my sink. I'm very happy I did this. We went with a one bowl farm style sink, which is really nice when you have a lot of dishes. And I really love that the kitchen sink is on the island because I have the entire view of the home as I am washing dishes. This kitchen faucet is from a brand called Moen. I really like this feature because you can pull it down and then wash the sink this way and it also has a little touch feature so if your hands are dirty you can just turn the faucet on and off without you having to actually touch it. We also did not go with a traditional pantry design. In fact we just went with concealed counter style cabinets because I wanted everything to be put away and I don't like to see clutter so everything is neatly tucked away. I recently just got this spice rack and I have alphabetized all of my spices. I will probably change out the bottles just to make it look a little bit more uniform but alphabetized your spices is life-changing guys. Cured basket is from Crate and Barrel and this is where I put all my potatoes, onions, garlic, and shallots. And this little garlic keeper is also from Crate and Barrel. I really like this. I am a minimalist so my pantry is never over crowded with things. I only like to keep things that I absolutely use and I think building the cabinets is really nice but everything is also really well organized in here for exactly what I need and nothing more. I chose this vent hood because it's very professional. Like first of all this exhaust is so strong. Let me show you. has lower settings too but the exhaust is very strong these lights are really helpful in fact when I'm cooking they show me a very exact view of my food and I really like this feature because it has heat lamps so if you actually have food that you want to keep warm these heat lamps will keep the food warm I really hope you enjoyed this kitchen tour. It's been a long time coming and it just makes me so happy to have finally filmed this for you all. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. I'm still new on YouTube, so any interaction you have with my videos helps me out so much and I'll be so grateful for your support. I'm also planning on doing a kitchen organization video where I take you through all my drawers, what I have in them, how I organize everything, pantry organization, etc. if that is something that you are interested in please let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for your support and for watching and i will see you guys very soon with another video bye